The MH Copes questionnaire is a questionnaire that asks you about the mental health service you have used. The MH Copes questionnaire is offered to all consumers of public adult mental health services in New South Wales. Hi Tom, how are you today? Great, great. Thanks Phil. I'm looking forward to going home in a few days. Oh, that's great to hear. Um, this is uh, a good time to uh, offer you the MH Copes questionnaire. It asks you questions about your stay here and areas in which you uh, think the service has done well and also areas in which you think improvements can be made. The questionnaire is anonymous. Uh, no one will see the results and everything will be confidential. By telling us what you think, you'll be helping the service to improve. Great. How does it work? Well, the feedback from the questionnaire is reported back to the service and consumers as well. And using that feedback, staff and consumers then work together uh, to develop ways to improve the service. So you can be involved in that step as well as if you'd like. New South Wales Health also gets the feedback and works with consumers to make uh, some major improvements. Uh, would you like to fill out the questionnaire? Yeah, I'd be happy to fill one out. Just take your time doing it. If, if you'd like help, I'll be around. And also, um, if you want another staff member or a family member to help you with the, um, with the questionnaire, that's great. And uh, it's okay to uh, skip questions if you want to. Great. Thanks, Phil. Yeah. And when you're finished with the survey, um, just, just put it in the envelope and put it in the MH Copes box. The MH Copes questionnaire allows you to give an opinion or provide feedback about your experience of the service you have just used. By filling out an MH Copes questionnaire, you get to have a say about the things you have liked at a service and the things you think could be done better. The answers that you provide in a questionnaire are anonymous, and the questionnaires are also voluntary. Although you are offered a questionnaire, it is your choice whether or not you fill it out. The questionnaires are handed out face-to-face -face at or in preparation for discharge or transfer from a service. At long-term services, they may also be handed out at other times. To fill out a questionnaire, consumers read each of the questions and then tick a circle to give their answer. Each question is a sentence about an aspect of the service. There are three different circles to choose from to give your answer. A red circle, which means that something needs lots of improvement. An orange circle, which means that something needs some improvement. And a green circle, which means that something is being done well and needs no improvement. So for example, one of the questions asks you about the opportunities you had to have a say in your own care. If you felt like you had opportunities to have a say in your own care, so no improvement is needed, you would tick the green circle. If you wanted a bit more opportunity, you would tick the orange circle because you think some improvement is needed. If you wanted a lot more opportunity to have a say in your own care, you would tick the red circle to say that lots of improvement is needed. On the back page of the questionnaire, there are three questions that don't have circle answers, but instead leave space for you to add your own comments. In these written answer questions, you can write whatever answers or comments you feel like mentioning. On the front page of a questionnaire, you will notice a code in the top left corner. This code shows which service the questionnaire was handed out in, as the questionnaires are available all across the state. This way, when the questionnaires are scanned and the answers are collated, people can know which service the information is about. Okay, Dave, would you like to go through an MH Copes questionnaire together? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Alrighty. Um, this first bit is just um, a little bit about you, and what we need you to do is just tick whichever one applies yeah. for you. Yeah. Remember that if you would like someone to help you with your questionnaire, they can read the questions out, explain them to you, and tick the circles that you select. But it's important that the answers are the ones you choose. If you don't want to answer every question, it is also fine to leave questions blank or unanswered. Even just one answered question is still useful feedback for a service. Filling out the questionnaire takes about 5 or 10 minutes. But it is fine to take as much time as you want, and you don't need to fill it out in one go if you would like a break. Once you have completed your questionnaire, it gets sent to a company to have the answers scanned in a computer. No one at your mental health service sees your questionnaire. So after you finish filling it out, please put the questionnaire in the attached envelope and seal it. You can then either put it in the return box, if your service has one, 
or you can post it at an Australia Post box. Posting it in the return envelope is free of charge and no postage stamp is needed. Remember, your answers remain anonymous and no one needs to see what answers you have given. My name is Suzanne and I'm a consumer worker in the Sydney region. MH Copes is an exciting development for people using public mental health services throughout New South Wales. I strongly encourage you to become involved in all aspects of the MH Copes framework in your service.